this video we will discuss about creating a topics in the copilot studio and also we will create one of the topic for the simple scenario in the copilot studio so what are topics in the copilot studio so basically the cop topics are the building blocks of any copilot in the copilot studio so basically it will help to create or design the conversation path so take an example I'm the user and I'm interacting with the copilot. So I will be asking some questions to the copilot. So these questions which I will ask, it will go to the one of the topic to be processed. And this topic will be handling those questions or queries as per the design which we will do inside the topic. And it will, after processing, it will give the response back to the user. So in that way, user is interacting with the copilot so when you create any topic so it will have two component one is called the trigger phrases so where we define some short few words the uh, quick phrases which can be uh, which can be used to trigger the uh, topic and once it is triggered then it should have the conversation node to handle the flow or the logic when it is processed so that is called the conversation nodes so in the Copilot Studio, we are having two types of the topics. One is the uh, some custom topics, which we will create our own defined custom topics. And there are some default topics actually, so which it will be automatically created. Let me show you that. So if uh, this is my Copilot Studio login here, uh, this is my Copilot, which I have created. And uh, here in the topics tab, so if you, if you see, we are having custom uh, section here, which will give some uh, uh, topic which are already created when you create the uh, new copilot. Co and there are some system uh, topics. So if you see here, we are having the default topics, which will come automatically when we create the copilot. Then the custom topics is something which will add the new uh, topics, which will design the new topics. So here are some important fact that uh, this copilot uh, uh, topics, uh, custom topics, we can disable it and we can delete it. When we get the custom topics, we can delete it or, or uh, disable it. And uh, but for the system topics, you we cannot uh, we uh, we can disable it, but we have to be careful. If we disable them, some features might not work. We have to be careful like which system topic we are di uh, disabling it, but we cannot delete it because it is required for the system uh, to handle uh, to handle the some system behavior when the user will be asking. So that is why system topics are important, but we can uh, edit it as per the requirement. We will see some of the example of the, uh, designing the uh, existing system topics in the upcoming video series. So here. As we know, now we are having two types of mostly topics. One is system topics, another is the uh, default, and we can design the new custom topics here. So we can get the, all the new topics which we'll create. It will come under the custom topics. So this is the few details uh, on the topics. And in the system topics, these are the some uh, system topic descriptions when it will be started. So you can see the events are defined. So when the conversation starts, this topic will be fired and it will give that message here. When the conversation ends, this topic will be fired and it will whatever the design is. These, these designs are coming out of the box. It will be given as per that, but you can modify it example this is the uh, co uh, test area of the copilot when i uh, start this you will see some messages automatically coming here right so this message is coming when this system uh, under the system topic when we uh, start the conversation this is the uh, start conversation event so when this will trigger will happen then you can see this message is coming there and here this is the variable name bot dot name so this is the uh, system variable name under the variable if you go to the system and then if you find the bot dot name you will get that so this is the variable so it is it, it, it is embedded here inside this message and this will come here and this is the uh, uh, sending message back to the user so it starts here like that we are having the other 
uh, like that we are having the other uh, system messages like when the conversation is ending when we are escalating basically sometimes we uh, when we are chatting and uh, we want to talk to the real-time agent which is connected to the another uh, another environment right another setup where we can escalate this uh, conversation to the uh, another channel so there there that we can do then we are having fallback then if you have having the topics which match the multiple topics are matched then how to handle it that is it so if you want to sign in then we can enable the sign in topic and like that so these are the basically system required uh, uh topics to handle those ones so now we will create the new topic and we'll see the example so take a scenario i i want to create a topic uh something test and i want to send the message to the uh user when my topic is fired so when you create a new topic, we have two options. One is create the from the description or create from the blank. So when you use the copilot with the description, then uh, we have to define the topic name and the description to that. Example, uh, the topic name is like uh, uh, test uh, send message. So basically, I want to test the send message. Uh, this is my topic name. And then I'm going to give the description like I want to create topic which will send message to user user so very simple one but you can define in a more descriptive way when you're creating the real time kind of uh, topic you can do that so when i create this one uh, you will see the new topic it will be framework will be created and some phrases is here the some phrases are automatically added with the help of the AI of the copilot uh, of the copilot studio. This is the copilot. This is the copilot of the copilot studio. So it will use that one to generate these phrases. So whenever any question which will be, which will match my this uh, uh, phrases, it will fire automatically. And this is the message uh, which is responding back to the uh, user. So to test it, so and this is my name of my uh, topic. So I'll save it and. Uh, uh, after that, uh, after the saving, I'll tell you what is what are the triggers we have here and what are the phrases. So we can edit these phrases if you want. If you want to change the trigger, we can do that. Okay, so let's check that. If you go here, if you click on this icon, then, then you will see the different type of triggers we are having. So triggers like when phrases are there, messages are received, events are received, acti activities are received, uh, conversation update, invoke received, on that inactive, like inactive when you do like when the chat is not happening for 15 minutes or half an hour, then what you should do. So, so like that with some events are there, trigger events. So when you do that one, then you want to fire this uh, particular topic and uh, suppose here we have selected the phrase also if you see in the phrase voice if you go to the properties here you will see this is on recognize intent basically when uh, my phrases are matches when questions are being asked from user if it is matches uh, similar to that any of these phrases then it will be fired so test test it example i'm sending this one now uh, let me restart this uh, Go test copilot here. I have just click on this icon to restart, and then here I will. Uh, uh, I want like I will just ask the query. I want to send uh, a test message. So now, as soon as I do, so now you can see automatically this. Uh, if you see the icons here, right? So it has called this uh, uh, topic and it has uh, uh, send the message here. So it has used this message to send it. So like this, you can create the topic. Uh, and here we can add the more nodes. These are called the node conversation nodes. So you can add the different nodes. So we are having, these are the different options of the nodes we are having. So currently we have used this send message nodes. You can see here, this message is used. This same node has been used, but here we are having the different options like uh, message variation, image, video, basic card, adaptive card, quick reply, and those things. So in the next video, we will see the other options available in the send message. So basically, first what we will do, we will take this topic scenario, we'll explore the different uh, way of sending the uh, send message, like with the image, video, basic card, how to design it and send it. So in the next video, we'll see with the details on that. So I hope uh, you understood how to create the topic and this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching this video, guys.